muchachos. So you've heard about the Citadel or just Citadel? No. You don't know about it? It's the Russo Brothers new series. Mm. Priyanka stars in it. Mm. The cost thus far for seven episodes, $250 million. <sighs> it is the second most expensive TV series in the history of television behind The Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. 250 for seven episodes. And that's all, that's mostly Priyanka's paycheck, am I right? At least a third of it is. Ah, hey, welcome back to our Super Director. It's here from Corbin. I'm Priyanka Chopra. Do you see any of the Lord of the Rings yet? Both. Do you like it? Very much. Yeah. I saw, um, saw the first episode, and we are, like, I think we got, like, 15 minutes before I got really, yeah, it is, really sleepy in the second episode. Uh, yeah, and, it is. It, I... Cinematography and production design, I thought two things when we were watching it. I thought, this is the most gorgeous cinematography and production design I've ever seen on TV. And there's now no differentiation between cinematography and production design for TV and film. I mean, well, that's we kind of known that for a while, but this looked like it was yeah. a Lord of the Rings film. Yeah. Um, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it is. Absolutely gorgeous. I, and I was happy that... I like the story and I like the characters. Yeah. I still prefer Game of Thrones so far. We do too. But, you know. We but already, I like this. Only two a lot. episodes and we already know of the world of Game of Thrones. So that's. And that's also more my style, like the grittiness. And, and yeah. Like that. That's the thing is this is far more fantastical. Yeah, whereas it is. It is. Thrones, for it being fantasy, is a bit more grounded. It feels more far medieval. More black people in this than any of the Lord of the Rings movies. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they just didn't exist in his mind. <laughs> well. <laughs> nope, there's no excuse for it. No, there's a there's a, not an excuse, there's an explanation for it. He hates black people. <laughs> no. When when Tolkien and C.S. Lewis were young men and then even old men, where they lived really racist. was predominantly surrounded by nothing but white people because people in Europe are predominantly white at that era. Racism is all I'm hearing. Anyways, today oh. <laughs> it's like you, you don't want to defend me. He's dead. No, it's like it's like it's like saying that the tribes in Papua New Guinea are racist because they don't have white people in them. A very, I agree with you. They just they've, they've never been exposed to it. And there was a period of time extremely racist where the world was far more separated. Those pops are extremely racist. There's, there's there's people in places that still haven't seen people of other color. Who? Oh, I, I don't see color. Anyways, today. <laughs> Today we got a, I don't know if this is the last one, but we got a Brahma pre-release promo. I hope it's the last one. Who knows, man? <laughs> I really do. I've said it over and over again. It's just don't, don't give us more than we need to see before the movie comes. Well, once, once I again, have heard. It's not a trailer. Pre-sales are doing really good, and I'm happy yeah. to hear that. Oh, man. That means the boycott's not doing well. Oh, bummer. I really wanted the boycott to do for well. For all of you who are so fixated on boycotts, I'm so sorry for you. We're really fixated Wish on you. boys, you priests. Anyways, let's just get into <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a mood. This is a. Jay Brahmadev, Mother Kar, Taki Me Brahmastra Prakar Sahu. Sharma Astra Prada. Just me pure Brahman ki shakti pari hui hai. Agar bhi tere hi se jana hai, to is dunya ke kafir toh ho jayenge. Mujh par parosa rakho Guruji. Oh, cool. Hey, Rick. Who's, 
Who does that look like to you? Who does that look like? It looks like Shah Rukh Khan's back to me. I'm used to seeing him on his back. Uh, <laughs> Why does that look like SRK's back to you? I'm at a minute nine. Tell me whose back you think that is. It looks with the hair and the turn. It looks even more to me like it looks more to me as Rithic than SRK. Oh, Rithic's not in this. Oh, I know that. But I'm saying, since why would since SRK be holding the trident? Whatever Astra he is, I don't know. Or is that Shiva? That's Shiva right there. But isn't Shiva blue? Or I get maybe his powers aren't blue. I don't know. I don't know the whole. Oh. New behind it. I think it looks like Shah Rukh Khan because the the hair looks like his Pothon hair to me. You're just obsessed with Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah. No, I didn't like uh, Kaho yeah. Naho. You you know, we a, are we you, are haters. You have a you have a you have a shirt. You have a coffee cup. You have that tattoo on your penis. No, it's on my thigh, reaching up from my ball sack. And the one on your penis where it says SRK when you're flaccid, and Shah Rukh Khan. Here's my secret. I'm never flaccid. Wow. Uh, <laughs> you know, after four hours, you need a paramedic assistance for that. Not Which, me. how do you make that call? Yeah, I need an ambulance. Well, I've had an erection for five hours. How, how exactly, what are they going to do when they... In, in America, you probably shouldn't call an ambulance for that. <laughs> it's going to be... It's gonna technically be an a medical emergency. It's going to be an expensive ambulance. <laughs> but I've said it before. I don't want to say it again. I've seen enough. Stop showing me stuff from the movie. I Everybody knows it's coming out. I don't. You're only a few days away. Stop! No, I think it's good. No. It there have been more promotional pieces for this than any film we've seen in the, in four years. Well, they gotta they gotta overcome the boycott, Rick. <sighs> Enough. I know, but it looks cool though. And I'm... why do I feel like we're gonna get another one before the movie comes out? Well, I'll just we'll react... get a song. We'll get a. I'll just react to it by myself. I want to. I want to be left with something when I go see the film. Well, it's a three-hour film. Well, yeah, but that doesn't mean anything because we've seen movies where they show us everything in Actually, single I think said in it's, one trailer. There's no way you could show it. It's a two-hour forty film, is what it was. There, there was a recent movie in the past year that we saw what? where all of the action was in the trailer, and the rest of the film was disappointing because we thought it was going to be what the trailer advertised, but we saw most of the action in the trailer. Well, I don't think. Although, this is actually one of the first times I think we've seen actual, like, fighting action. Because all, all the other... No, not outside of, like, I'm not talking, like, fighting, like, the Harry Potter fighting thing. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the lights and the whatever it's called. Well, they told us something I didn't know before that I don't want to know any more about. They told us that those three pieces, if they come together, it's going to end the universe. So clearly now there's a thing about the three pieces. I would have liked to have learned that in the movie. I don't, I don't think that's vital, though. If it's not vital, why are they showing no, it I'm to us in the trailer? No, I'm saying, like, like, that's the thing that's... I feel like you're getting unnecessarily angry. <laughs> no, it's... This... Do you admit there has been more promotional stuff for this than any film we've ever seen? No, RRR was the thing. No. It, they had three years of it, Rick. I, I, can, I can show you all of our I, reactions. I bet we had six things from that. Uh-huh. And this has probably had eight. Oh, man. The horror... Do you believe there is a point where you can show too much information when you're promoting a film? Not in a film that I is completely original and I know nothing about. Really? You think they can't share too much? Probably not. Not in this one. Not in this one? Not just, in this one. Just Brahmastra. There's no way they could share too much. Probably not. Oh, okay. I don't know anything about Brahmastra, so... <laughs> like, like uh, three of them were informational videos. So you can say all these things. That most of those weren't even visuals from the thing. A lot of those things, like the informational ones, I would love to have seen after. That's what RRR has done really well, is they've given you a lot of post stuff you can really to continue angry. the moment. I'm not getting angry. I'm just saying, I'm, I have said it before, I really don't want to lose the impact. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. I don't want to lose the impact of seeing these things for the first time on the big screen. It's a two-hour, 40-minute film. I think you're going to be okay. Just like RRR is three hours. Yeah, and they, they promoted that thing really well. Yeah. They didn't overshare. I think they're, you're... they're oversharing now. What did, they, what did you learn in that one that you... That... I just said it a second oh, ago. Oh, one thing. No, that was one of the things. It's probably going to open and be like, if there's these three things and they come together, 
That's probably going to be the opening of the film. <laughs> there is a point where you can share too much. And how many times have we watched a three-minute trailer and you have said, "Okay, I think they showed us too much there. I feel like we've seen yeah, the whole film. because I think I've seen the whole film. Right. You, okay, tell me what the film is. If, no. That's what I'm saying. I don't think they have. <laughs> You're just you're you're saying that's not possible. Not for this film, no. <laughs> okay. Because you can't explain the film well, to me. I care about the film and don't want it to be revealing more than it needs to, especially for something that was made to be experienced on the big screen. I'm aware of what you're saying. And I'm, I'm seeing, saying there's no I'm way it's continuing it has. to see new material that I would like to see for the first time okay, on the big screen. Okay, so tell me what's what the film's about if it's given too much away. I'm not talking about giving away the whole plot line. I'm talking about giving away too much of it in any way. And it hasn't. In your opinion, and I'm entitled to my opinion that no. they're doing too much. You're not. No, I really am. No, you're just you're <laughs> just dumb. <laughs> we all know this. We all know this. No one's opinion matters but mine. And if you have one, it's wrong. Just know that. So I hope you guys stop sharing stuff about Brahmastra because you've promoted it plenty well. It's ready to go. No, give me something every day and I will make Rick come to this house every single day well, just to spite him. I'll watch it, but you're probably going to be taking away the joy I'm going to have of experiencing it on the big screen for the first time. Oh, my God. So dumb. You want to know what the best trailer ever in the history of cinema was? Star Wars. You know what they showed us? Nothing. That's incorrect. The greatest trailer was actually Lighthouse. And you know it's true. Yeah, no. What? You weren't even you, you weren't even there for the Star Wars trailer. What? You know I'm right. It's Lighthouse. Uh, anyways, it looked great. I can't wait for it. So thankfully, the visuals all look consistent. But yeah, no more. Thanks. I'm just gonna, cut, to go. I'm just gonna cut off his mic. God damn it! Here we go. Just. <laughs>